Welcome to Known Unknowns. Swedish scientist Svante Pabo won this year's Nobel Prize in Medicine Monday for his discoveries on human evolution that provided key insights into our immune system and what makes us unique compared with our extinct cousins, the awards panel said. Pabo has spearheaded the development of new techniques that allowed researchers to compare the genome of modern humans and that of other hominins, the Neanderthals and Denisovans. Svante Pabo's groundbreaking discoveries have provided important new knowledge regarding our evolutionary history, said Anna Weddell, chair of the Nobel Committee. While Neanderthal bones were first discovered in the mid-19th century, only by unlocking their DNA, often referred to as the code of life, have scientists been able to fully understand the links between species. This included the time when modern humans and Neanderthals diverged as a species, determined to be around 800,000 years ago. Pabo and his team also surprisingly found that gene flow had occurred from Neanderthals to Homo sapiens, demonstrating that they had children together during periods of coexistence, Weddell said. This transfer of genes between hominine species affects how the immune system of modern humans reacts to infections, such as the coronavirus. People outside Africa have 1-2% of Neanderthal genes. Pabo and his team also managed to extract DNA from a tiny finger bone found in a cave in Siberia, leading to the recognition of a new species of ancient humans they called Denisovans. Weddell described this as, a sensational discovery, that subsequently showed Neanderthals and Denisovan to be sister groups which split from each other around 600,000 years ago. Denisovan genes have been found in up to 6% of modern humans in Asia and Southeast Asia, indicating that interbreeding occurred there too. Pabo, 67, performed his prize-winning studies in Germany at the University of Munich and at the Max Planck Institute for Evolutionary Anthropology in Leipzig. Pabo is the son of Soon Bergstrom, who won the Nobel Prize in Medicine in 1982.